Hello Visual Effects people, I'm AK and this is Fluid Ninja Live use case package number 9 and I'm quickly rushing through the package to have a glimpse of what we have like this level with a volcano smoke column and four more levels like this one where um, I was trying to create like a, a rocket launching the point is these huge vertical smoke columns and also worth to note that we are combining Ninja Native volume smoke with Unreal Native volume clouds um, we also have a test for these um, combustion like things and uh, yeah Mm, we have a level where you could paint like practicing free painting and by enabling the preset manager you could paint persistent patterns so shortly that's the package five levels and we had a bug emerged with Unreal Engine 4.27 and this bug has been fixed as well you have to replace Ninja Live preset manager. Yeah, why not? Let's start with this bug fix thing. So we are already on the painter level and I'm uh, <clears throat> on the details panel enabling the preset manager. Um, if I paint something, it quickly vanishes. Uh, but if I set persistency to a higher value, my painted smoke column remains. And so I could get down here and press this button save paint buffer and this is the thing that have been fixed. So if I just go to the content browser it has been saved to the presets. And here we go. <laughs> it's not a spectacular painting but the good thing is that we could already <coughs> or again paint or uh, save or paint buffer so this has been broken in the latest Unreal Engine version uh, apart from the fix uh, here is this new feature and I'm getting back to the volcano level um, yep uh, I just let the simulation start <laughs> play around a little bit with the lights moving around a little bit and so uh, if I open up the volume cloud material which I could do by selecting uh, the volumetric cloud actor going to the details panel and here cloud material if I double click on the material there is this new section here uh, I could enable the clouds to be vertical and I could also rotate them I <clears throat> I'm undocking this uh, material editor so you will not see it because of this silly video capture program but you will definitely see as I rotate the cloud mass so you see uh, <clears throat> until now we had like scaling and offset for the clouds and from now on uh, we could also rotate this cloud mass so originally <laughs> it was like that up in the sky like a, like we had a two-dimensional plane laid up on the sky and now I could um, arbitrarily rotate the whole whole thing so that's how it works uh, a new feature um, also worth to mention that we have these blue letter N containers here these are volumetric smoke containers and uh, this is the first time that we are actually um, combining volumetric smoke and volumetric clouds so it's like uh, many of you have been asking if we could add these uh, additional layers of thin cloud shields besides these massive uh, volume clouds and yes we could do that so I've been placing this on level and um, one thing worth to mention again here uh, here's the, the rocket <laughs> The rocket launch thing 
So uh, I could zoom in and I have placed uh, two of these containers, volume smoke containers. One of them is in the near ground and one of them is in the far ground. So we have uh, plenty of details. Do you see this, uh, uh, this mountain in the background? This is actually the, the real scale model of the Mount St. Helens. And it's like two and a half kilometers high. So all things scaled properly, word scale. Another thing worth to mention, you see these strange silly containers here. Well, that's how um, we generate the simulation content. So these little red spheres are actually uh, triggering the simulation. And I've been using like six of them to create these uh, giant smoke columns. And the simulation below is uh, the volumetric smoke, which is like the low lying mist in the valley. Yeah, um, another experimental thing here. Oh, by the way, performance. Uh, if I switch on the performance ometer, you could see that uh, the combination of volume smoke and high resolution volume clouds is not performing very well. It's like 120 FPS on a GTX 2080. Oh, sorry, RTX. And if we are using uh, Ninja Native volume smoke only, we are well above 200 FPS. So this might be an alternative in case if you would like to do something uh, performant. Um, well, in this case, you could skip using the Unreal Native uh, volume clouds and use only um, Ninja smoke. And here is a heavy combo where we <laughs> where we are both uh, utilizing uh, volume clouds and mm, volume smoke and <laughs> I yeah uh, well well <laughs> we are still above uh, 100 fps but it's not very performant I could also paint here so this is the first test test where I wanted to create something like a um, like a combustion it's not very spectacular, but as a first test it will do. And later on we will move on to explosions and fire and stuff like that. So surely that's about use case package number nine. All instructions included in the zip file. And uh, also you could check the previous videos made on uh, volumetric cloud usage. You just move here on the level. And you will find the links collected also in the readme text file in the package so pretty much everything is documented uh, a few tasks for you to perform change this change that so all things built for you to practice and understand that's it shortly thank you for your patience and see you next time